What's up, everyone? George Lehman here with MuscleMasochist.com. Um, just another update for you guys. Been enjoying making videos lately. They're not very hard to do, so I'm gonna try and keep putting them out. So, um, deadlifted for the first time in shockingly to say like a year. Um, I think I did one workout. I went up to 500 pounds for one. I don't know, 10 months ago or something like that. Just with a friend of mine, he wanted to train some deadlifts, and I was like, all right, you know, I'll just see how it feels and shit. Because at the time, um, shortly before that, I'd been doing some sprints on the beach in Cambodia before I came back to America. I tore my hamstring, and I was sprinting real fast at like, I don't know, 330 or 340. And slowing down, I sprained my ankle. <laughs> so I didn't want to go too heavy at the time. Um, and I only had planned on being in America for, I don't know, like a month. So I, I wasn't even gonna bother getting back into heavy deadlift training just for a month. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to right away in Cambodia when I got back there. But I did some heavy deadlifts today. When I say heavy, just heavier than I've been in a year because I haven't been doing them. I went up to, uh, assuming a 20 kilo plate is 45 pounds, which maybe, I guess it's not. I don't know how that fucking works. I don't understand why there's such a, a difference, 20 kilos, but it's a 45 pound plate, whatever. Um, but 715, um, I did it pretty fast. I was, I was, for not deadlifting for a year, 715 pretty fast. I was pretty happy with it. Um, I can still pull over 800 pounds, which is good for not training deadlifts for a year. Um, I'm thinking with a little bit of work, I'd be back up to midnight hundreds, assuming I didn't get hurt. That's a big assumption because, I mean, anytime you fuck around with above 800 pounds or anything like that, just kind of expect that injuries are going to come eventually, but that's the game. So I am, um, I did enjoy it. I was pretty excited about how it felt. I, I missed the feeling of training heavy and shit, and that was really cool. I just wanted to let you guys know how that was going. Over the next few weeks or something, I'll go a little bit heavier. But um, I found out that instead of only being able to stay in Thailand for like a month or two months or some shit, apparently, if I go to school here for to learn Thai or whatever, I can stay for a year. And then I can renew and I can stay for up to five years. And after five years, I can apply for residency. So essentially, I can stay here kind of as long as I wanted. Um, I met the owner of a, the Muscle Factory, super nice guy. Um, he told me he doesn't care if I film there, he'd like for me to film there. So that's pretty fantastic. I'm <clears throat> actually at a place where I can film and I'm comfortable filming and there's, there's a large powerlifting presence. So if you are going to come to Asia and you're a powerlifter or a strongman, because I have logs and tires and shit and like sledgehammers and stuff, the Muscle Factory, that's the place to go, honestly. It is. It's, it's a fantastic gym, even by American standards, by European standards, whatever. It's a fantastic gym. Very nice people. <coughs> um, very friendly, very accommodating and stuff. Check it out if you're ever in the area or just like Google it and have a look at it. Uh, some people, you know, come to this country just to fucking train there and, you know, the cheap food and stuff. So it's good. Apparently they do like uh, like weight loss things there. You come and stay for a few months. They make all your meals for you, prep your meals, and they I, I coach you or whatever. So it's a pretty cool thing. Look into it. Um, I was trying to figure out what my next move is because, you know, obviously I'm traveling around and shit. I don't know where I want to go next and whatnot. But figuring out that I can stay here for a long time um, kind of incited me to want to stay because I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and that is, for those of you that don't know, the easiest place in Asia to travel around Asia from. It's right in the middle of everything. It's a great airport. I mean, you can go to China real easy. You can go anywhere real easy from right here. And I was thinking that if I was gonna stay here long term, it would be a really easy way for me to travel around and see some stuff while still training hard and heavy, while still living a really cheap, really high quality life. Because, I mean, what's important for powerlifting and bodybuilding? Gym, food, money, you know, supplements, uh, massages, shit like that, and all that stuff is available and very cheap. So, um, however, however, on, on that note, there's some other stuff that I'm obviously interested in. I, I like investing in stuff, and uh, I am interested in buying more properties, because um, that's currently what I'm doing right now, is just living off investments and shit, and it's fun. It's like anything else. Just like training, you want to keep progressing. Investing is the same thing. You want to keep progressing. You're never gonna meet anyone that invests in stuff that doesn't wanna you know, keep progressing with their investments, either making more money from them, growing their business, you know, putting more money into stocks, buying more houses, whatever the fuck, it's always about progression. And I'm kind of addicted to progression, progressing in life, progressing in looks, progressing in mentally, money, 
physically, whatever. Um, so I was thinking about traveling around here for a little bit, um, making a few stops on the way back, you know, but uh, heading back to America and buying a house on a mortgage, because um, I currently don't have any houses on mortgages. I, I, um, I bought cheap houses and I was able to get them in cash. So I think it would be a pretty good investment for me to have a house on a mortgage. Um, specifically, a not very expensive house, a hundred grand or something like that. Um, but you know, in 30 years time when it's paid off, maybe it'll be worth 150 or 200 and um, it'll rent for significantly more than it rents for now. So if I can get a, a good house for the right price and say I have you know, 650 in expenses and there's 700 in expenses, including management, taxes, insurance, mortgage, all that stuff, and it rents for a thousand, I'd make another $300 a month while a house paid itself off. And that's pretty, that's, that's something I'd like to do. I just like to have a house paying itself off. Because in 30 years from now, it's, it's basically gonna be like the same thing as like a pension. A lot of people are making $1,000 a month from their pension. I would make 1000 or $1,500 or whatever, say $1,000 profit in 30 years off of that alone. So just going back and doing it would be kind of like having a pension. Um, although I'm sure I'll have one anyway. Um, so I'd like to do that. I was also, um, for those of you that know what the fuck you're talking about, if you don't, please don't have anything to say about it. But um, I fund a 401k and an IRA, and um, it's to my understanding that I can move them over, combine them, and uh, put them in a self-employed 401k and buy another house in there as well. Um, now, I've bought some pretty cheap houses in the past. They're obviously worth much more now. But what I'd like to do is buy a house from myself because I keep them in limited liability corporations and put my house inside of my 401k and then I wouldn't have to pay any taxes on the income other than you know property tax and management but say I made $650 profit off that house every month $7,000 a year profit every uh, every year into that 401k that I can then put into a mutual fund and whenever I'm 60 that'll be worth well over a million dollars or some whatever with compounding interest of a mutual fund of six eight ten percent whatever whatever happens in America I don't know um, so I also want to buy a house in there however if I'm buying a house from myself that would allow me to take out money from my 401k tax-free um, because I'd be paying myself from my own 401k again this is to my understanding and I wouldn't have to pay capital gains because I buy the house for myself for what I bought it for so there would be no gain on the house even though I guess theoretically it may be worth more um, and then I could turn around take that money out of my 401k use some of my own money and put it down like an $80,000 duplex which I found some duplexes two apartments for like $80,000 or so and they probably rent I don't know 650 or 700 or 750 a piece or something like that I'm, I'm just guessing what they rent for but even if it was less, even if it was five fifty or six hundred a piece, at forty thousand dollars per unit, that's pretty good. So I could theoretically go back to America for a little while, maybe like a year or so, um, buy a house on a mortgage, paying itself off, making me some money, buy uh, a duplex, which is going to make me money, and move one of my houses into my four hundred one k, which is going to give me a tax shelter on that income, and theoretically years down the line it's gonna add up to you know well over a million dollars just from that so those are some things I would like to do the reason I'm gonna be in America for maybe like a year is what I'm thinking I, I'm not completely sure is because if you buy a house for rentals sake um, if you buy a house as an investment property on a mortgage they're gonna want like six percent interest or so um, if you buy a house and live in it for a year if your credit is good you pay like 3.8 percent interest so if I live in it for a year get a much better interest rate I'd be able to make some money off of it and if I'm in America for a year that would also give me the ability to train right to work right and all that kind of stuff get my life in order and um, basically do the right thing um, after a year's time what I'd really like to do is come back here to Thailand uh, sign up under a student visa stay for a year two three five years whatever um, continue to work here um, online whatever maybe uh, go to this gym here so I can actually train heavy because I, I do like it I, it's really nice to have a good gym it's been the first time in a long time in Asia and um, you know I can live like I said I can live really fucking cheap here I, I know an apartment that I actually really liked it's 280 a month gym pool one bedroom clean nice security very close to the gym I don't know two or three minutes in a taxi if there's not traffic there usually is traffic but you get the idea uh, close to the sky train which 
maybe you guys don't know what that is, but it gets you around everywhere for really cheap and really fast because there's no traffic on the train. Um, basically, I'm just planning my life out, giving you an idea of what I'm doing. Um, those are my basic investment ideas at the moment to do with uh, real estate. Um, I really enjoy it. It's, it's fun to think about. It gives me something to do. And um, it would give me a reason to go back to America for a little while and, um, you know, be able to cook my own fucking food for once, uh, eat the food that I like eating. I do like this food, but, you know, I also like American food. I like paying $2.50 for a gallon of milk instead of $6 or $9 for a gallon of milk and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm big into dairy and I, I like cooking. I really do like cooking. And it's not as easy here for me as it is in America. Uh, give me some time to see whatever family I have or whatever friends I have as well. Um, go to some good gyms and stuff. But that's my basic plan. I'm thinking about traveling around here for a little bit because I am here. Seeing a little bit more of Asia, a little bit more of Thailand, whatever. And then I'm thinking about going back to America for a while but taking a few stops on the way there because it's like a 25 hour flight. So if I can find a few places that I want to see for like a week or so on the way back, I can do a six hour flight, eight hour flight, eight hour flight. You know, and then whatever. I'll be I'll be back already, pretty much. I'll be where I want to be, and I'll get to see some more stuff along the way. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna be living at in America. I guess I'm gonna look around at the housing market because I would like to. If I'm gonna get a house and a mortgage, I would like it to be rather nice. You know what I mean? I would like to enjoy it. I was looking at some cabins in Wisconsin. Um, you know, obviously Texas is supposedly a pretty good place. I hear North Carolina and Georgia is a good place. I don't really know, but. Um, I'm going to research that, I'm going to figure that out, and then I'm probably going to come back and stay for a while in America, um, just to finish up with some investments and shit and, and get that all rolling, because obviously right now I don't need to work, however, fucking, I don't need to get stronger either, I don't need to get bigger, I don't need to get leaner, I mean, I could just stay the way I am for the rest of my life and most people might be content, but I like to progress, I like to go and do better. I'd like to learn a second language, I'd like to travel the world, I'd like to make more money, I'd like to have more investments, you know, I'd like to help more people, I'd like to grow this online business that I have, even though I'm not doing a business on here at the moment, I'd like to just expand on everything I'm doing with my fucking life, um, get healthier, get leaner, get bigger, get stronger, get more money, help more people, see more of the world, all that shit. So basically everything's going really well. Um, I'm going to get some more training videos for you guys, I'm going to take some more videos of some other stuff. And hopefully you guys like the content, and hopefully you guys won't mind too much if I make videos other than just lifting shit. Because there's more to life than just lifting shit, although it's pretty cool. Um, there's also fucking like food and travel and like fucking relationships and all kinds of shit. Anyways guys, as always, thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out MuscleMasochist.com. Again, I'm not coaching anyone right now, but if you want to sign up for a program or a diet, I will write you one. Um, I was planning on lowering my prices, but I don't really want a bunch of people to sign up unless they really want to work with me, unless they really want to program for me. So I'm going to leave my prices the same for the time being, um, a few extra dollars or whatever. If you want to sign up, feel free. I'd have no problem at all. I'd, I'd love to write you a program. I'd love to hear about your, your lifts and your goals and your limitations due to diet, equipment, schedule, what, whatever, um, injuries. Uh, and, and work with you in that regard. So if you want to do that, feel free to sign up. If not, maybe in the future it'll be cheaper. Maybe in the future I'll offer coaching again. But for the time being, I'm not because I'm focusing on other stuff. Thanks for watching my videos, guys.